Hi, my name is Jim Barnett. I'm with Dream Tree, and today we're going to show you about the water truth. We're going to talk about acid versus alkalinity for the body. This is a card that shows the pH scale. Your body is designed to operate on pH. It's either acidic or alkaline. What's that mean? That means your body's trying to get rid of acid your whole life. So if you can see here, in the orange to the yellow, it's, it's acidic. Then we get into the green, it's neutral. Then we get into the blue, that's alkaline. And what is this? what significance does this play? Guys, we're drinking and eating a lot of acidic foods and a lot of acidic drinks out here that we eat, fast food, different things, that's causing a lot of obesity problems. And what we're doing is we're showing you the difference between what kind of fluid you drink, because if you are what you eat, then you are certainly what you drink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this right here and I'm just going to show you a little test on this water here. This is, of course, uh, I guess everybody knows what that is. Uh, this one is just a bottle of water. Most of these are reverse osmosis waters. Okay, so everybody recognizes that one. This is another bottle of water. We're just going to do a little test, real uh, quick test, to show you with pH drops what kind of water that people are drinking. What kind of water are you drinking out here? So, And then I've got this new technology that has ceramic that takes any of this water, except for this one, of course. This is a uh, sweetened water. Just regular reverse osmosis water. This one is going to change the water, okay, with minerals that are dispersed into the water, giving me high antioxidant alkaline water. Okay, so what we're going to do is just do, like I said, we're going to take some pH drops, we're going to put a few of these in each one of these to see what it turns out. Remember, yellow is acidic. Okay, green is neutral. And the blue is the kind of water that we need. Okay, alkaline water. So I'm going to take this and just stir this up. This is yellow. This is acidic. This is yellow. This is acidic. This one's yellow. It's acidic. And this one is yellow. It's also acidic. But this one down here is the kind that we need. Guys, I've tested over 400 waters, and all of the waters out here are either neutral or they are acidic. Okay? What we're trying to do, though, is trying to change the body's water. You are 75% water. Okay? So what we're trying to do is change your body's water so that your body is a run. It's a machine. If you don't put oil in the car, it doesn't run. If I put the right kind of water in the body, it runs better. Okay, so what I do is, if this is your body's water, excuse me, we're not going to do this. I'm going to show you this last because I want you to see something that's really been a revelation for me in learning about this kind of water. But I can change any other kind of water in my body by drinking the right kind of water. So I help my body out in doing what it needs to do. I give it the right kind of water, then my body operates correctly. But guys, there's one difference here. This right here, or soda water, or anything like that, nobody drinks this much soda, right? Nobody, because this is like soda water. It's carbonated, it's got some carbonation in it. Let me just show you what happens to this water, okay? Let's just pull this front and center here to show you what happens with this water just by pouring a little bit in here. I'll tell you what it does. It takes all of the water out of your body, okay? And so it's a diuretic. It strips the body of the water that it has in it. Not good. Okay, what we need to do is have the right kind of water. And when I try to change this water back, guys, you need 32 glasses of this kind of water to change one of these. That's not a good thing. What we're trying to do is give the body the right kind of water. If you notice here, this one still needs, you still need it. Let me put a few drops here. To show you something guys if you have if you're drinking this kind of water I still need more water to flush the body out to give me the right kind of water that's all it needs though if you're drinking the wrong kind of if you've been drinking the wrong kind of water for your body for your optimum health you need to start drinking the right kind of water okay tap water let's don't even go there it has chemical it has all kind of stuff in it soda ash whatever I have to whatever they have to do to make it neutral what we're talking about is taking clean water, clean reverse osmosis filtered water and putting it through the pitcher. It's mobile, goes anywhere with you. You can have the best kind of water 24-7.
Okay, so that's what we're talking about with this kind of water. And that's basically what our test has shown today, is that you're either drinking acid or alkaline, and now you have a choice. what the alkalinity versus acidity is for the body? Now we're going to show you the antioxidant value. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some water here. I'm going to pull some of this water from, this is tap water from McAllen, Texas. Okay. We're going to take this water right here that says that it is antioxidant. You know, there's a lot of, like, your juices out here and your uh, grape juice and stuff that says antioxidant. This one even says antioxidant right on it. So we're just going to test and find out, do any of these waters or any of these flavored waters have antioxidant value? Because that's what we're looking for is antioxidant value, okay, in the water. So... Let's just see if any of them have it. Now, this is the Dream Tree Pitcher. Remember, you take this ceramic is what disperses the minerals into the water. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you the antioxidant value of the water now that we put it through the ceramic. So, I'm going to pour this here. We're going to see any bottle or filtered water goes through here. Not tap water. Tap water has got chemical. This is, you know what the difference between any other filter system and this is? Other filter systems, you know, zero water, uh, rid of pitcher, they take stuff out of the water. This puts stuff in to the water. This is a clean water that you start with and it changes it into the best water on the planet. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take some antioxidant drops here, I had to find them, and we're going to drop this in here and if it, this is tap water, remember? This is Propel, this is the Aquafina. I'm looking for a red color, see if it has antioxidant value. Guys, there's only one on the table that has antioxidant property in the water. That's this Dream Tree pitcher water. This is mobile. I can take it anywhere. Put in filter or clean water. It becomes the best water on the planet. What are antioxidants? Antioxidants fight free radical. Free radical damage is not good. So we need something good in the body. I've shown you the alkaline test on the previous film there. Now I'm showing you the antioxidant value of the water. We're also going to take a meter here. This is called an oxidation reduction potential meter. Okay? We're just going to test this to make sure of what I'm telling you is true. So we're just going to take this. I can't really see it, but I know it's around 300, probably something like that. Okay, 350. That's the tap water. Let's just go to the next one, Propel. It says it has antioxidant. Let's test that. What does it have? Okay, it's probably 200 and something, 300 and something, right in that same range. Okay? So let's go to the next one. Let's go to Aquafina. See, guys, we've tested over 400 waters, and none of these waters have antioxidant. None of the juices, because once you put it in a container, it flies away. The only reason that the antioxidant stays in this is because it stays in contact with the ceramic, putting 110 minerals into the water, changes the structure of the water. You can watch another film. I'm going to show you why this water is more absorbent. We're just talking about antioxidant property right now. And right here, Let's go to the next one, Ozarka. Let's see what it has. No antioxidant. We're looking for positive 50 to negative 200. That's the kind of water we're looking for. And as you can see, it's not that. It's probably in the 200 range. I can't see it right now, but I know that's what it is because we've tested the water. Okay? This is the, the Dasani water. So let's look at that. Remember, we're looking for a positive 50 to negative 200. There are electric machines that are very expensive that separate the water with electricity to give me the antioxidant alkaline value, but it's not very natural. And anything past 200, these waters usually end up around negative 300, negative 400. Guys, too much of any good thing is not good. So your body can't assimilate past negative, negative 200. So what we're looking for is positive 50, negative 200. Give you a guide, negative 50 is straight organic vitamin C. So this is gonna tell you about what this is, okay? Now, I'm going to take another cup here because a lot of times, you know, people think, well, there's pink color, so maybe that's, <laughs> maybe that's changed the way the, the meter reads or whatever. So I just poured you a little bit more of this water. So let's just see what that is. And guys, I'm going to tell you what it is without looking at it because I've tested this so many times. This is negative water. Negative water, remember, negative 50 is straight organic vitamin C. Okay? This is probably negative, close to negative 200. And if it's negative 200, that means it's four times the value of straight organic vitamin C. 
So what we're showing you is the best alkaline on the other tape and now antioxidant water for the body. Your body is 70% water. You know, if you have a 100% problem and you only fix 25 to 30% like we've done for years without addressing the water, which is 75% of your problem, then the problem comes back. It's going to come back. What we need is we need the right kind of water for the body. That's our mission at Dream Tree because you are 70-75% percent water. Your brain is 83% water. Your bones are 25% water. Joints are 83%. Let me just tell you this. My shoulder from drinking this kind of water is better. I think I said it on the other clip. I'm not kidding. This is what this water has done for me, and it's helping a lot of people with a lot of things because we need to hydrate the body. How much water should you be drinking? Half of your body weight in ounces. Is that too much? No. You need hydration in the body like a car needs oil. You don't give it to it, it doesn't function properly. And that's what we're about as Dream Tree is telling the truth about the water.